Well, this year there will be both a primary and a GOP caucus in Michigan. The primaries are set for February 27th, and Michigan Republicans will also hold a caucus on March 2nd. So what does it all mean, and just how important is Michigan in the race for the White House? Let's bring in Professor Matt Grossman, director of MSU's Institute for Public Policy and Social Research, to discuss. Thanks for joining me today, Matt. Good to be with you. Good to have you. So those dates I just mentioned, they're a little bit earlier in the year than is typical for Michigan. So uh, how is that going to impact the rest of this primary season? Well, if we still have a race uh, after tonight, uh, then Michigan uh, should be influential in the Republican uh, primary process because uh, we uh, will be the next uh, big state to vote uh, just after South Carolina. Uh, and so the candidates, if they're still uh, more than just Trump after tonight, they're likely to visit Michigan uh, and uh, try to win those delegates. Yeah, we'll find out if uh, Haley's still in the race pretty soon here. Uh, as I mentioned as well, Republicans holding both a primary and a caucus. What's the deal with that? Why is that happening? Well, Republicans uh, are sort of dealing with uh, the fact that Democrats changed the primary date. Uh, the National Democratic Party agreed to have Michigan go earlier in the process, uh, but there really isn't a Democratic nomination as Biden uh, is going to sail to that uh, nomination. Uh, so the only contest uh, li it likely to influence things is on the Republican side. But the Republicans uh, didn't control the state, so they didn't get to make the decision about when the primary was. So uh, in order to try to stay in good graces with their national party, who hadn't allowed Michigan to go earlier in the process, they came up with this system uh, to split the delegate allocation and make the official delegate allocation later in the process, but still try to take into consideration the results of the primary. And am I understand correctly that people in Michigan can participate in whichever primary they want? Correct. We have no party registration in Michigan. So when you register to vote, you do not say what political party you're in. And that means that anyone can show up at uh, the presidential primary uh, on February 27th and select either a Republican or Democratic uh, primary ballot. Uh, and just like in New Hampshire, uh, where there isn't much of a contest on the Democratic side, and so that means that for independent voters who might vote in one primary or the other, it's a fairly obvious choice this year to vote on the Republican side. In Michigan, it's open to even more people because uh, even Democrats, not just independents, uh, can uh, decide to vote in the Republican primary because they're not registered in any party. And does that complicate things? I mean, do you tend to see people voting for essentially spoiler candidates or trying to essentially mess with the other party's candidates? We always have this idea that um, people in one party will enter the other party's primary to try to select the least electable candidate in the other party's primary. In reality, that's much less common than people simply voting in the other party's primary for the candidate that they most prefer. So even if Democrats think that uh, Donald Trump will be easier to defeat than Nikki Haley, I would still expect more Democrats and independents uh, to cross over to vote for Nikki Haley just because uh, they aren't going to be able to vote for Donald Trump. Uh, they're going to vote for the candidate that they more prefer. And typically we do see better turnout, a stronger engagement in a general election. Uh, what about Michigan specifically? What are you expecting uh, in these next couple months here? Well, we are earlier in the process, and this is kind of a chance uh, to show that Michigan uh, deserves to vote earlier in the process, that we can bring out a more diverse electorate, uh, and that we uh, can pay attention to what's going on in the national presidential primaries. Uh, so uh, I would hope that if, if, if there's any contest at all, uh, that people will decide to participate uh, in order to show that Michigan uh, should uh, be voting early in the process. And while we have you, any thoughts or predictions about New Hampshire tonight? Well, it certainly seems uh, from the uh, polls uh, that uh, Donald Trump had a strong lead uh, going in uh, to the primary. So it would be a pretty massive upset were Nikki Haley to uh, emerge victorious. Uh, the question, I think, is does she get close enough uh, to feel like she can continue the campaign? The problem for us is that South Carolina goes uh, before Michigan, and if she doesn't win her home state, uh, it makes it a lot harder uh, for her to stay in the contest.
All right. Well, we will see what happens very soon. Professor Matt Grossman, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Thank you.